What's up guys? You join me here from my, uh, my ST again. And uh, seeing as it's a day off, I'm gonna run lots of errands that are all car errands. So I'm excited to do this. I've weirdly been looking forward to this for the last couple of days. Now, you're probably thinking, what are you gonna be doing on the car? Um, so recently you've seen the new wheels go on. Obviously previous to that, you've seen things like downpipe and spaces and whatnot. Now, as you probably know, when you have spaces put on, you need to assess your tracking. Um, obviously putting new alloys on as well, they're obviously balanced with the previous owner, so it's sensible for me to go down to Pro Tire, get them all balanced, get them all aligned so that I can reduce any vibration that I have through the steering wheel. Um, the car's absolutely brilliant, it's on top form. Um, the balancing, uh, balancing act of my iPhone here is not, however, but that's okay. I figured it's not sensible to take the cap. Will you just... I figured it's not sensible to take the camera. It's huge, you know, big lens, big microphone. And I didn't really want to be too invasive, especially over a pro tire. Now, after we've done that, we're going to go head down um, to Plymouth Radiators and we're going to get the aircon regassed. That's something else that I've been needing to do. Oh, we've got so many things to get done. Um, tomorrow I take delivery of my full Zunsport lower grill and upper grill, courtesy of Zunsport, shout out to you guys. I will link a 10% off uh, offer code in the description below, so that's gonna be uh, beneficial to you guys. And uh, more importantly, breakfast of champions, coming from a personal trainer, what do you think I'm gonna be uh, recommending? white monster now <laughs> by all means let me know in the comment section how bad these are for you but white monster is the way forward if you haven't tried one go down to the shops take a pound out your pocket and invest because they are amazing they taste like lemonade they've got no calories and uh, they will leave you with a very small amount of guilt so uh, bottoms up to you guys and uh, we will uh, go join the intro and uh, we'll see you very soon so uh, peace Okay, so the car's behind me getting worked on. Where can we see it? We can see it over here. The car's getting worked on, balancing, tracking, and a few other bits. So I'll update you very shortly. Why would it do that? Kicking out. That's going to cause a bit of vibration, isn't it? Yeah. Lack of yeah. I'm gonna have them redone anyway, so it's okay. You got three lock nuts. I'm getting this you're tracking done is obviously these spaces you know it's important to have all of this you know um, honed in together so it all works efficiently finally got the locky wheel net as you saw it anyway but he's getting it done that's the only bit of curb wraps I've got on all four of the wheels as I was saying we spin the wheel up with the old weight still on it okay which gives us an indication of how far it's out all right when we spun this one, it was only 10 grams out on the inside. So then we take the weight off, spin it again, and now it's 25 and 40 grams out. Okay. Right, this is going on there. Clicked onto the fact that they're actually two different tyres. We stuck the two on the back. They're the uh, two on the back of the new tread pattern, I think. And the two on the front are these slightly old one, but they are contact sixes either way. All right. That's right. So focus ST 135. So obviously this is uh, what we need to in regards to the tires and the torque spec and all the bolts. Just in case you guys needed to know. The when when talking these up, it's 135, right? That's something to remember. Initially I had 120, so they're doing a proper job. Yeah. This, this tip has sucked itself in since you've had the downpipe done. So I just asked them if we could jack it up super fast just to find out why it has done that. 
Ideally, it'd be nice to have them both out in the same amount, but it's very obvious what's happening. Guys, check it out, update. Down pipe was done the other day. At least you can see now it's done properly with the AirTech locking box, so that's a great start. Holding in nicely as well. That looks pretty sick. Full AirTech down pipe. It's all looking lovely, mate. See, it's not budging at all. If you look at the difference there, I mean, that's how much it sticks out from the diffuser on that side compared to that much. So it's not ideal. As you can see, the car, the paintwork is a complete mess. So obviously that's gonna get fixed in due course. But we're doing bits, guys, we're doing bits. The next port of call is to get all four wheels in the ST. I don't quite know how that's gonna happen. They're in good nick, so if anyone wants to buy them, let me know. They just need a good clean. Yeah, still absolutely grubby. Ugh. Just get the ST out now. Room, room. This is their laser tracking system. Top of the range, this one here. So what we're gonna do is get the car on. Yeah, we'll uh, watch it go on. Hope he doesn't screw this up. Okay, so behind the camera, the car is on the ramp. It's getting sorted. Now I wanted to uh, demonstrate how important it is to have your alignment done when you... Uh... <laughs> it's important to have your alignment done when you've had spaces, new tires, new alloys, anything along those lines, all right? So that's exactly what we're gonna be doing now. So what are these things then that you're putting on, just for the viewers? So these are gauges. Pick okay. Up on these lasers over there. Okay. That's what gives us our readings at the end. Awesome. Nice. Right. These goes on all four of the wheels. No, don't worry. I've got you covered, man. Is this the top of the range system then, the Hawkeye? Yeah, it's about, I think it's about 16 grand, right? 16 grand just for the tracking. It might sound patronizing, but could you just explain the benefits of having this done? Because obviously I know myself, but there are a lot of people that are not going to quite understand. Basically, if the track is out and you're putting, you're putting your tires on it, then you're just going to scrub them. Okay. You're going to get, not get as much efficiency out of the tires. Um, not more to say, really, bud. <laughs> He's hooking me up, so it's all all right. But I'll, yeah, put that in my pocket. In my pochette. Okay, so we're... Uh, we're making waves with the ST today, guys. I'll try and keep this uncut so you guys can see the whole process. Who thinks I should castrate my neighbor for kicking a football into the side of my car? I don't know if you guys can see, there's a mark there. Well, that's good, because you're gonna fix it. <laughs> it's actually illegal to turn my car on if you do without giving it a rev, it's mandatory. <laughs> Why do you want your steering wheel? Do you want it straight or do you want it like that? You're gonna laugh. <laughs> the steering wheel's coming off soon, guys. A little bit of a hint. Let me know what you think um, I'm gonna be doing in the comment section, if you can guess. But no, he says it's miles out. Of course I want the steering wheel straight, despite it coming off in a few days' time. What do you guys think of my uh, my floor lights in there? Cheap, cheap upgrade. Here we go. The beauty of the iPhone filming today is that I don't have any issues with zooming. My stand camera won't let me zoom, so... Uh, Certainly helps out a little bit. Front and rear tilt up, mate, basically. Front and rear? Yeah. See, that's what I was worried about. They're breaking. Generally, the, it, it literally corrodes here and they just seize together. Mm. It seizes internally in this bush. Yeah. As soon as I try and undo it, you should just snap. Um, see, it's starting to go, can't you? 
starting to go. Like starting to rot around. It just is. He's not had enough protein shakes, guys. He can't get it undone. Guys, if you're local to like South Devon, Cornwall area, definitely come down to Pro Tire and check them out. Super friendly and they'll let you, you know, check out what's going on if you want to wear them, provided you ask nicely. Yeah. So, if you guys can see all the way over there. Can you zoom in that far? Just about, it's a bit grainy. But as he adjusts this, it adjusts over there as well. I don't know if we'll see it going to the green. Fucking hell. Technology now, Legit on the floor, covered in dust. No fucks given. James was saying you're getting new seats for them. Yeah. So all the How seats are coming out. Up? Hey? How do you swindle that? Well, you know. Winky winky. <laughs> so it's 0 0.31 degrees on the toe. What are you going to try and take it to? <laughs> so this pasty van rocks up to like everyone's work, the G Ivor Juni pasties, and rings his bell every single day. But no, I'm not caving into the carbs, not those carbs. See down here, as he adjusts it, the arrow goes into the green. Zero point. He wants zero point one seven. There we go. Boom. So you can't shout out this garage enough. If you're local to the area, come down and check them out. Pro tire in Plymouth. What we're dealing with here. So this is the previous bit. This is the four wheel really side of the top bit. So how much it was actually out. This is weight. So your car is probably more likely to the right. Guys, like I said, come down to Pro Tire. These guys are there. Uh, you right out of here. Can I down there somewhere? I found a little doggy. Yay. I wouldn't even know where to start in terms of getting it done. Right, it don't work. We've got a leak. Oh, an update as to what's happening. Long story short, um, we've taken off the slam panel off the front just to try and find out what's going on with the radiator. Um, he's Obviously check that it's, it's got no gas, so obviously that's why the aircon wasn't working. Now what we need to do is a nitrogen high pressure test, which we're gonna do in there um, after he's got the Hyundai Coupe sorted. Um, that's about 15 pound plus VAT if you guys wanna come and have that high pressure test done just to find out if you do need to either replace the condenser or just get your aircon regassed. Now it's uh, something I've been meaning to do for a while, so we're gonna wait, get the Hyundai Coupe sorted, and then uh, we'll be on to the Focus, and we can uh, move on from there. I'm just uh, to the building, just to the right-hand side of where my car's been worked on over here, and uh, we're doing this little uh, fiberglass build on the Urban W camper van, it's pretty cool. What do, you, what do you call down here? Sound composites. Sound composites in Plymouth, guys. They've got a Corvette under here, looking smart. I wouldn't even know where to start with half of this, but it looks nice. It's gonna be cool, I can imagine when it's done. It's relocating this horn, because that is an accident waiting to happen. It's because the Direnza intercooler didn't have a clip for it to go on. So we're gonna get this located at some point and get some hella horn covers to go on here and uh, go from there. So we're gonna wait a little while and then get the car in here at Plymouth Radiators. So, basically filled the system up with nitrogen. Check them rivets because that's where they leak out from, believe it or not. I'll just get a tour. I guess the best situation is that there's no leaks. Yeah, sort of, sort of but the the trouble with these condensers, as you can see, there's um, the mountain brackets are riveted on on the um, 
original original manufacturer condensers. Rumours that it's illegal to not give it a rev. It's gonna piss everyone off. <laughs> I shouldn't be doing this. Anyway, I best get out. One of these guys that watches my videos is down there, so shout out to you. Not entirely sure if I can get out of this, mate. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> mate, you have to do that. I can't get out. The things I do to my paintwork just to get out of my car. <laughs> okay, we're all set. This lad down here is a legend, so a uh, big shout out to him. And what's going on? Right, basically putting on high and low side pipes onto yep. air conditioning connectors on the vehicle, as like so. Are you gonna purge the system for me? Yes. All right, let me get through here, mate. Squeeze through here. Yeah, squeeze through. Oh, there, there we go. Right, we're looking at our marvelous book of doom. It's a bit of a sorry state. It's had a hard paper round, doesn't it? Yes. Focus. Hmm. Love how clean your hands are. Do you moisturise? No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ten forty. I use. <laughs> what we're we dealing with is on here, is it? Obviously, it tells you what weight of gas you have to put into your car. So we're telling you what weight of gas you have to put into your car. So it takes six hundred. Well, thank God I didn't take the sticker off. Yeah, six hundred plus or minus twelve. So okay. we'll put okay. in six hundred and ten. Sounds good to me. I'm happy with that. So you put 0 0.02, that's to do with the oil, which is on the back. Yep. Fresh oil, crap oil coming out. And then we program that into 610. That's right, we've got Legend watches my videos. <laughs> yeah, so we've done a fair few things to this man. Nice man. I need to take that out and flush it. Yeah, it's it looks good and clean, doesn't it? It does need a bit of a clean. Oh it's my right gosh, this is amazing. Yeah, courtesy of Dorenza. Bit of a, an odd one though as to why it's got an extra hole here, because you can't actually get anything into it, so it just seems a bit irritating. It works, doesn't it? It does, it does work. No, it's, uh, it's getting lots of stuff. Right, so seeing everything in the engine bay is done, I um, want to show you something pretty funny, right? So, what the fuck, previous owner? I super glued that one in. I need to get these fixed. Anyway, let's get the car started and we'll see if the aircon works. Okay, the aircon is working. Take that out for a second. Yep, I've broken it. Standard procedure. There we go. The fucking aircon blows it out. So annoying. Now if it's working, check the hair. Yeah, the aircon's working. It's a big, 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 big shout out to uh, Plymouth Radiators. They put me up. I'm going to reverse the car out now and then go and see what the bill is. Now that's the bit that I'm curious of. Woof, 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 woof. Oh, no, little puppy. <laughs> that's it. Right, you back? Fox, you back? Oh my gosh. 
All right, guys, so seeing as we have done the aircon regas and we've got the tires aligned and balanced, I wanted to give you guys a bit of a gift. Um, something that you guys have been asking for that I haven't been able to merge into a video. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end today's video with the tuning video of the car getting mapped to see what figures it made. Now, just as a bit of context, I got the car, it had 260 brake from a bluefin chip. We removed it, we made 279 on the dyno that you guys have seen with Bevo. So the car, in the video that's going, bear in mind it's old, is going from 279 up to whatever figure it makes. So, past tense George, roll the video, and uh, hope you guys enjoy. So, this is purely for the viewers that have stayed to the end of the video. You get rewarded with the tuning video. Enjoy. I didn't even this. All kinds of madness. Yeah, had it made, had it replaced. My old one was dodgy. It's cool. Well, it's a modern key now, isn't it? Yeah, it's different. Yeah. It's 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 cool. We'll see. Either way, guys, I need to head into work and uh, leave the car in the hands of this wizard. Like I said, guys, I said this earlier. All of his details are in the comment section below. I've had enough people message me about it anyway, so. Uh, yeah. See you later, Focus. Hello, 300 horsepower. Well, yeah, exactly. We'll uh, hopefully come back on break and we'll see you then, all right? Okay, so I've just taken my half an hour break from lunch and uh, this is Bevo's new GTR that he's just traded in for one of his Audis. He still has the RS6, but this is his, uh, his new GTR. Now, without looking at your screen, I'm not looking at your screen, don't worry. Um, What's the crap with the, the focus then? What do you think? Something's going on, like a leak or something? Yeah, I mean, I've driven it just now and it doesn't seem like it did before, but we'll get it on the dyno in a minute and, and see what's actually happening. 